you had to dream yourself going up there talking to hanuman and saying why you make your case why you deserve to meet shri ram and have divinity in your life if you do that then shri ram's spirit will fill your body you will become a warrior for dharma another friend of mine is calling saying i'm tired of this corporate job i'm saying you cannot be tired because while you were joining they made the frame clear to you they said you are a human resource you went to the human resource department so they're going to treat you like a human resource you are expecting them to treat you like a human being but that is not happening that's not going to happen that's not part of the contract okay so if you want to be in this corporate organization then you have to think of yourself as a human resource and you'll be treated like that you have agreed for that you have paid a salary to be treated like that and then give your best service as a human resource that's the best you can do otherwise learn to be an entrepreneur and quit this but don't complain so when you maintain your frame like that shri ram is happy because you're not in a frame of disagreement leaking energy and all that he's happy to bless you mm-hmm. in biology class nobody understood anything in the reproduction tra- chapter because they started dreaming yeah nothing they understood <laughs> they were dreaming so much <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh, i think that uh, people really know how to dream yeah ask them to read a book they'll start dreaming mm. i give them the book mitochondria manifesto they say i have my health i have uh, problems guruji with my health i have a depression i said your lifestyle is shit you read this book they open the book and start dreaming they can't read It's not possible. They're reading the same line again and again. You know those people who watch YouTube video and then rewind again mm. because they, they they missed. What do you think they're doing? They're dreaming. Mm. Every idiot without concentration knows how to dream, and it's the same guys writing. I don't know how to dream. Mm. Somebody saying, Guruji, I had panic attacks. I was going to office. I had panic attack. Now I panic thinking about the panic attack. I'm like, what is? What should be your cortisol level to have panic attack? Cortisol, Guru Ji, what is this thing? Is it some medicine I can take? I'm like, no, you already have too much of it. People are not used to this Raudra Roop of Hanuman, no? Mm. They, they put. I saw one Hanuman today on a spring with a small, cute gada, and he's shaking like this when the car is going next to me. There's a guy, and said, that's not Hanuman, man. people have no idea what is the tej of hanuman like in this temple if you yeah. open the door only boom yeah. hanuman is like that he is busy in sadhana okay even now you can't go there and say hey, hanuman that hanuman this hanuman mere ko class mein pass kar do hanuman wo ladki ka pyar mujhe chahiye nahi dande milenge dam dam you'll get you don't ask him anything except shri ram because hmm. that's what he's willing to give you So you have to visualize the roar of Hanuman. Okay, just let it clean all your nonsense. Go stand in front of Hanuman and say, "Let me hear your roar." Like, <laughs> we'll hear his roar once in your dream. You just have to hear it. You know how langurs roar, right? Hmm. <laughs> like this. Imagine that multiplied by two billion. like this rock <laughs> everything everything molecule of yours is going to get transformed for those who are saying oh, my neighbor has done black magic on me just say mayr once if you say it's enough the black magic will run back up the neighbor yeah but you have to do with bhakti if you are under anuman's protection nothing can touch you okay your fake bhakti will not cut it Your selfish bhakti will not cut it. You have to want nothing but Sri Ram and his blessings. Your words, your thoughts, and your actions should be in your control. You have to train enough for that. How do you think this discipline is going to come to you? You need to be in a guru kulam. Otherwise, you can't can't do this on your own without a guru. Okay? You have to follow the strict discipline. to be able to control your thoughts your words and your deeds and anybody who gains that control hanuman will make sure that he doesn't get any sankat before the sankat comes hanuman would have got you out of it okay that's what it is that's hanuman's promise the tapasvi raja ram has certain needs and if you start worrying about those needs and you can dream up ram as the tapasvi raja and then you can ask him 
Ramji, what can I do for you? Give him some water. Do his seva. Press his feet. Fan him. Whatever you do. Hanuman will be there, smiling. Because you you did service of Sri Ram. Okay? This is the dream. How intensely can you dream this? And you go to your corporate boss and you can say, I quit my job because I am going to serve Ram. And you can leave. And then you'll figure out something. Sambar oh. was invented by... Uh, Sambhaji. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because yeah. he couldn't get enough meat for his people. Hmm. Where are you going to get? Hmm. Okay. But that, you should understand, in, in, India became vegetarian circumstantially because hmm. there was a shortage of meat. Hmm. Not because of any other reason. Now there's no shortage you eat. I saw one uh, gadhi on a reel huh. talking that gada is not mentioned in Ramayana. Ramayana is not about gada. Ramayana is about Ram. Why Gadal be mentioned in Ramayana? Iconic tool for training your body. Hmm. And its origin comes from Hanuman. Hmm. Because Vanar used to pick up trees, they have said no. Hmm. Vanar used to pick up trees and use them as a Gada. Hmm. Where do you think the Gada comes from? It comes from a tree. You think they wouldn't have figured out we can take the tree and shape it on a lathe and make it however we want? Why would they pick up a tree that's not aerodynamic? Yeah. You think only you had the brains to put it, to put a tree on a, a lathe and make it into gada? What gadas, man? Every time I dream of Hanuman, I dream of him with a gada. Tere ko aake uske upar. Dash na hai. Don't do this. Okay? Don't piss on other people's dreams. Outside Mysore, Hanuman, and Sri Anjaneya Temple, and uh, it is just near Kerala. Mm -hmm. uh, we are about to do our mm -hmm. Hanuman Gada podcast, mm -hmm. the third episode on Hanuman Chalisa. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a banger. Mm -hmm. Watch till the end and uh, make sure that you absorb this energy that we have at the feet of Hanuman. Mm -hmm. Jai Hanuman. Jai Bajrangi, Jai Hanuman, Chantak Mochan Kripani Dhan, Jai Bajrangi, Baba Hanuman, Chantak Mochan Kripani Dhan, Jai Bajrangi, Jai Hanuman, Chantak Mochan Kripani Dhan, Jai Bajrangi, Baba Hanuman, Chantak Mochan Kripani Dhan, Jai Bajrangi, Jai Hanuman, Chantak Mochan Kripani Dhan, Jai Bajrangi, Jai Hanuman, Chantak Mochan Kripani Dhan, Jai Bajrangi, Jai Hanuman,
बजरंगे बाबा हनुमान संकट मोचन कृपा निधान जय बजरंगी जय हनुमान संकट मोचन कृपा निधान जय बजरंगे बाबा हनुमान संकट मोचन कृपा निधान जय बजरंगी जय 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 बजरंगी जय हनुमान जय बजरंगी जय बजरंगी जय बजरंगी जय हनुमान जय हनुमान Namaste welcome to Ancient Echoes this is Hanuman Chalisa part 3 where we are going to cover the dohas from number 31 to 40 so welcome guruji to uh, ancient echoes and thank you for uh, coming here with us and sharing the knowledge uh, we are here near uh, KRS Krishna Rajya Sagara and uh, we are at the feet of uh, the Hanuman Temple, ancient, hey, ancient Shri Anjaneya Temple, and uh, this is a fantastic place with good shade in the afternoon, and uh, we are looking to uncover some secrets of Hanuman Chalisa under this beautiful tree, and uh, let's begin. Before we begin, uh, Guruji, do you mm. have anything for the viewers to say? No. Okay. Do Hanuman Chalisa. That's it. Great. So let's begin. Mm. So uh, the first doha for uh, the first chopai for mm. today is mm. Ram duare tum rakhware mm. ho tan agya binu paisare. Duara means do- door. Mm. You are the guardian of Ram's door. Rakhwala, rakhware. Ho tan agya binu paisare. That means no entry for those who don't have uh, your permission. So those who want anything from Sri Ram have to go past Hanuman. And uh, if Hanuman feels that you are not qualified to meet Sri Ram, you cannot. Hmm. So what do you think qualifies you to meet Sri Ram and to learn his stuff? It's your bhakti. Hmm. If you approach Sri Ram without deep bhakti like Hanuman, Hanuman would say, "No, no, I can't take your half baked bhakti in front of Sri Ram." you have to go come back later when you have proper bhakti a lot of people are atheists secretly even if they go to temple they are atheists because they look at god as some kind of transaction mm. and so what you have to dream here is how much of bhakti do i really have for shri ram that will open the gates and hanuman will be at the gate you go so think of like dream of yourself going to hanuman and we've talked a lot about dreaming so please watch the first two episodes otherwise you won't understand anything i'm saying go and watch the first two episodes if this is the first one you're watching uh, hanuman is standing at the gate of shri ram it's a big palace okay if you want to see the inner chambers of shri ram are guarded by hanuman so dream yourself there and then tell hanuman how much you believe in the power of shri ram if he's impressed with you you will get access to all the blessings from shri ram okay so ram dwar is a, a dwar which is at your talu talu means uh, foramen magnus please look it up foramen magnus it's a hole in your skull from which your spinal cord comes that's also called the 10th door and it's also called talu it's also called ram dwar so hanuman is the guarder of guardian of ram dwar if he lets you go from ram dwar so imagine yourself as a small person hanuman is standing guard at your foramen magnus also called talu the 10th door nine doors lead into the body the two eyes the two nostrils the two ears the mouth the uh, genitals and the anus these are nine doors that go into the body but one door goes outside the body into the mind and that is called talu so if you want to cross ram dwar then you have to please hanuman you have to dream yourself going up there talking to hanuman and saying why you make your case why you deserve to meet shri ram and have divinity in your life if you do that then shri ram's spirit will fill your body you will become a warrior for dharma that's what you will become what is dharma knowing right from wrong 
How do you know right from wrong? When you have a frame. Without a frame, there is no right and wrong, right? So, like, I was talking to one of uh, one of my old friends actually, and uh, she said that I'm together in my marriage only for my child. And uh, then I said that's a good frame, because right and wrong is very clear now. Anything that hurts uh, the experience of the child is wrong with you. Anything that hurts the experience of the child with you and your husband is wrong. But anything that enhances the experience of the child with you and your husband is right. So that means, is the child learning? Is the child doing hard things when she is young or when he is young? And uh, is the child... Uh, being challenged every day and failing every day and then planning how to not fail and then trying to do it again and failing every, again and learning. Is a child in a sattvic mode of learning? Is something that you and your husband need to care about. The rest of your life you don't have to care. You don't have to care about how your husband is doing as long as he's doing healthy enough. <laughs> as long as you both are healthy enough to take care of your kid. You needn't interfere in each other's lives. So that's wrong. To interfere in each other's lives about anything else is wrong. But in this, you have to maintain. So when you have that kind of a clarity about what you're doing together, and you have agreement about it, you can't be sad. Another friend of mine is calling saying, I'm tired of this corporate job. I'm saying, you cannot be tired because while you were joining, they made the frame clear to you. They said you're a human resource. You went to the human resource department. So they're going to treat you like a human resource. You are expecting them to treat you like a human being. But that's not happening. That's not going to happen. That's not part of the contract. Okay. So if you want to be in this corporate organization, then you have to think of yourself as a human resource. And you'll be treated like that. You've agreed for that. You've paid a salary to be treated like that. And then give your best service as a human resource. That's the best you can do. Otherwise, learn to be an entrepreneur and quit this. But don't complain. So when you maintain your frame like that, Sri Ram is happy because you are not in a frame of disagreement, leaking energy and all that. He is happy to bless you. One, uh, one particle of light from Sri Ram is enough. Your whole life will be blessed. You won't have to worry at all. Okay? So if you can make it past the talu, you will have a darshan of Sri Ram. This is the method to get a darshan of Sri Ram. Go past the talu beg Hanuman to let you through and if he does you, you will always have access to have a darshan of Sri Ram that's what it is great technique right hmm. yeah uh, one thing that I want to mention is uh, people who are learning from us hmm. their experience hmm. and someone who is just watching hmm. their experience is completely different Are people have no discipline yeah no? Yeah, yeah. Also, dreaming mm. is one thing which our students are able to do. They are practicing, they are getting better. But uh, there are a lot of comments that, you know, they are not able to dream. Or How you will be able yeah. to dream? You won't be able to dream because you are so stressed. Mm. Dream is rapid eye movement that happens. Yeah. It, your eyes will close and there will be rapid eye movement and then you will be dreaming in that moment. You know, mm. your eyes will go zzz, zzz. Mm. That's called dreaming. You know, in rapid eye movement, you produce testosterone and women produce estrogen. In the rapid eye movement, you produce sexual hormone. If you don't dream, if you don't have dreams, you won't be sexy, in other words. Okay? Only those who have dream have a beautiful body. So, beautiful body and mind is only possible when you dream. <coughs> so, when you learn to dream while awake, it's the same as dreaming when you're asleep. You lose consciousness of your body and then you just see Hanuman and that's it. You don't know anything. I don't know anything now. I'm dreaming at, of Hanuman at the Talu door and I'm saying, Hanuman, you can let me through because you know I'm not an atheist. You know that I always ask for your protection and Sri Ram's protection. And I chant Sri Ram Raksha Stotra. I visualize him in every corner of my body. Can't you see? I'm a Sri Ram Bhakt. And he opens the door for me. At that time, brief moment when I was dreaming, I was not aware of you or any of this nature or people or nothing. 
not aware of anything here. It's not so hard to dream. What do you mean you can't dream? Every child dreams. Hmm. Every child, like you think of yourself in your physics class or maths class. Why are you not dreaming? Yeah, yeah. Do you know anything that happened there? No. What is the formula for pressure if I ask you? Like, no, I was dreaming. I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. I was under. I was under no pressure. I was dreaming of my pleasure. I think it's. Uh, in biology class, nobody understood anything in the reproduction tra- chapter because they started dreaming. Yeah. Nothing they understood. <laughs> they were dreaming so much. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, I think that uh, people really know how to dream. Yeah. Ask them to read a book, they'll start dreaming. Mm-hmm. I give them the book Mitochondria Manifesto. They say I have my health, I have uh, problems, Guruji, with my health. I have a depression. I said your lifestyle is shit. You read this book. They open the book and start dreaming. They can't read. It's not possible. They're reading the same line again and again. You know those people who watch YouTube video and then rewind again mm-hmm. because they, they they missed. What do you think they're doing? They're dreaming. Mm-hmm. Every idiot without concentration knows how to dream and it's the same guys writing I don't know how to dream. Hmm. Why? Don't waste your time. Life is lim- your life is limited. Unless you meet Hanuman you won't become eternal. You don't have an immortal time. People are acting like they're immortals. Hmm. You don't have time. Until Hanuman blesses you, you'll never be immortal. Hmm. Okay, so get up, practice Hanuman Gada, and don't be an idiot. Don't say I don't know how to dream, Guruji. I got this video, and still my life is shit. What is the use of you existing on this earth? This cactus behind me is more useful if you can't dream. This cactus also dreams, correct? Yeah. See how it's dreamed. Yeah. Tree love. No. The cactus yeah. is merged with the tree. What a dream! I feel that even plants and animals dream better than people who comment on a video saying I can't dream. Please don't do that. Understand that you have the capacity. Everything is dreaming. You're too stressed. Okay, so for those who are too stressed, I'm going to teach you something. You take a hand like this and rub it down your hand. It's called Pitru Nadi. Rub it off your f- your ring finger. Okay. Slip off all these feelings that are not yours. Say these are not my feelings, and throw it into a blue flame. Imagine there's a big blue flame. Okay. Do one hand only. Do one hand only like this. Do it twenty times. Even the pain you have, shoulder pain and everything from working on your stupid computers will go away. Okay. Like this, okay, and then this side. I did ten because we. Do, I don't want to waste your time on the podcast. But do at least ten with me, okay. For this, you can pause the video and do this. And don't be stressed. Isn't your stress level coming down now? And most people are loaded with cortisol because of their excellent lifestyles of shining light in up their eyes until midnight. Some of them sleep with the light on. Uh, sleep with the light on. Wow! Somebody saying, Guruji, I had panic attacks. I was going to office at panic attack. Now I panic thinking about the panic attack. I'm like, what is? What should be your cortisol level to have panic attack? Cortisol, Guruji. What is this thing? Is it some medicine I can take? I'm like, no. You already have too much of it. You know. The cortisol level is stressed. I mean, the kind of lifestyle people lead. Oh my God! Just please read this book called Mitochondria Manifesto and fix your bloody lifestyle. If you are going to be so stressed, Hanuman is a far dream. You can't dream of Hanuman. I mean, just no. No dreaming is possible. Okay. I hope that answers your question. Dubara mat puchna. If any one of you want the book, I'll send. I'll uh, send a link below. You just go on that link and you yeah link download it, link it yeah. link it. Okay. Hmm. It's a book worth reading. It's a book of the century, man. The guys collected information from nine or ten different subjects. from thousands of research papers that he's gone through he's brought the latest cutting edge information for you guys to read 
everyone has health problems please read that book and then stop bothering me saying i have health problem guruji i have stress i have panic attack you have a shit lifestyle that's what you have fix it everyone agrees i have shit lifestyle and then they'll go swiggy it they'll swiggy something else this food made by unconscious people what do you think will happen if you eat it cook your own food with consciousness and love think of shri ram and cook your food learn to live with like like a, like like god exists people live as if nothing exists i'm an agnostic somebody was saying i'm like there's no such thing there's only atheist i believe in god i'm like why when how why are you depressed if you believe in god ah good point ah let's move on सब सुख लहे तुम्हारी सरना तुम रचक काहू को डरना योर प्रोटेक्शन ब्रिंग्स ऑल द कम्फर्ट्स इन द वर्ल्ड इफ यू आर प्रोटेक्टिंग मी वॉट आई हैव टू बी अफ्रेड ऑफ यू नो वाई इज प्रोटेक्टिंग यू बिकॉज यू वर अलाउड इन टू श्री राम्स चेम्बर यूर इन दर हनुमान इज प्रोटेक्टिंग यू नो वॉट every pos- possible comfort is there with you you'll be comfortable you won't have to struggle but this is the thing no if hanuman is there then how how we can be scared you can have fear or hanuman choose one which one you want most people say hanuman hanuman guruji what the guruji i am so afraid of uh... <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah like hanuman and fattu hanuman bhakt and fattu cannot be the same person Yeah. How? Can't be. If you are Hanuman Bhakti, you can't be scared. That's it. You check your Hanuman Bhakti now. List the things you are scared of. List should be zero. If you have one item there also, you're not a Hanuman Bhakti. It's your just gas. Your why you? Apan tej. समारो आपे तीनों लोग हक ते कापे ओनली यू कैन कंटेन योर सेल्फ योर योर फायर ओनली यू कैन कंटेन अपन तेज मीन्स योर फायर समारो आप ही मीन्स आप ही अपना तेज संभाल संभाल सकते हो मीन्स यू आर दी वन हु कैन कंट्रोल योर फायर सो पीपल आर नॉट यूज टू दिस रौद्र रूप ऑफ हनुमान नो दे They put. I saw one Hanuman today on a spring with a small, cute gada, and he's shaking like this when the car is going next to me. There's a guy. And said, That's not Hanuman, man. People have no idea what is the stage of Hanuman. Like in this temple, if you yeah. open the door, only boom. Yeah. They say the temple was made in 1978, but the stone yeah. has existed since how many years, man? Yeah, thousands and millions of years. What is this Deccan plateau when it came? This is Chamundi granite. Ah. Huh. Chamundi granite. It's uh, two. Uh, <coughs> I think it's around two billion years old. Two billion years old. That stone, Swambhu Hanuman, is two yeah. billion years old. Okay, two billion years old. What is this number? Nobody don't know this number. What is this number? I know forty-five years. I mean, I am forty-nine years now. Okay, so <laughs> that's all I know. Mm. Uh, just two digits. But I don't even know how many digits two billion has. Mm. Okay, and there's two of those billions. Not one or two, no, not one, two, double, double billion. So this this Hanuman rock is double billion years old. And so when you go in there, there's this this is real apan tej samharo api. You have to say and go because it's so powerful in there. Nobody can feel like walking in there if there, you need some courage to open the door and get into the temple and touch Hanuman's feet because it's just like that. the painted hanuman on top but if you remove the painting also the stone is very powerful mm. okay so all the three worlds uh, shiver in front of you the world in 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 earth in uh, bhuvarlok and swarlok even the gods and the asuras and the beings of light like yakshas and everything everything everyone shivers when you roar that's what it means so hanuman can roar man mm. so here you have to you have to see hanuman's 
contained energy mm. because he is uh, not wasting a drop of virya it's all with him so hanuman's contained energy of continence when you see that when you feel that it's like being near the sun because the sun is hanuman's guru he learned from the sun right mm. what do you think surya namaskar is you keep going after the sun and then you come back and then you go after the sun and then you come back and then you go after the sun and then you come back mm. because the sun told hanuman keep pace with me mm. i have uh, i have a tight schedule you know i have to go around the world every day so i can't really sit and teach you i have knowledge yes i know ved shastra sab pata hai mereko but i want a student who can keep pace with me so hanuman flew like this upside down behind the sun wherever the sun went and he learned so like that imagine someone who can face the sun and keep learning you know before he tried to eat the sun and the sun was like why should teach you and he apologized and he said no you are the only one who can teach me because i am ignorant you teach me and uh, he taught hanuman okay so hanuman became like the sun wow a fireball okay yeah students become like their guru i have some small percentage of what my guru is my guru stage i have one small small light and small light only get so many uh, likes and followers and shares and uh, discussions and uh, uh, yeah man my life is getting difficult now because of that kannada podcast they 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 like oh he's in mysore and then the mysore people are coming to see me he will be invited to i was doing something very big important sadhana i was doing will i be important i won't go if i'm invited to big boss <laughs> i'm not interested but the thing is i'm doing some sadhana and then i'm sweating okay and then uh, uh, my student is knocking me out guruji guruji i'm like who what why you disturbing my sadhana i'm pissed off right and so um, some guy called hemant is come i'm like who hemant i came down there hemant is sitting like this i'm like who are you why are you here It's like uh, I, I I just uh, saw your address and uh, I came and said, "Don't you have any manners to call before coming?" And Hemant is like, uh, "Okay, okay, Guruji." I said, "You go and message me on WhatsApp what you want. You cannot tell me right here. How can you come into my house?" But I gave him water. Hmm. I told my student, "Give him water first." Hmm. After he drank water, I gave him some fire. Hmm. And then he ran from there. Okay. So hmm. that is it. When hmm. when I'm doing Hanuman Sadhana, hmm. ah, with Gada, okay. I'm walking around in circles and swinging my gada like, I'm, you know that circle walk we do. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's actually swinging the gada in a circle, walking around in a circle. Mm. I've done some hundred circles, mm. and I'm sweating like anything. Mm. Then this uh, Hemant comes, and he ran from there. He didn't reply on WhatsApp also. Uh, he said, "I just wanted your blessings." I said, "Okay," and he fell at my feet and went off. I'm like, "Okay, what is this? What you will do with my blessings?" You you know what my teachings or you want my blessings? I'm a teacher. You want my blessings. I'm a blesser. You take my blessings. Did I say I'm a blesser? I'm a teacher. You take my teaching. Why you take my blessing? But I gave it anyway. So Shiva bless you with wisdom. What to do? Okay. So like this, Hanuman is like that. He is busy in sadhana. Okay, even now. You can't go there and say hey, Hanuman that Hanuman this Hanuman मेरे को क्लास में पास कर दो Hanuman वो लड़की का प्यार मुझे चाहिए नहीं डंडे मिलेंगे डम डम यूल गेट यू डोंट आस्क इम एनी थिंग एक्सेप्ट श्री राम बिकॉज दैट्स वेट इज विलिंग टू गिव यू सो यू हैव टू विजुअलाइज द रोर ऑफ हनुमान ओके जस्ट लेट इट क्लीन ऑल योर नॉन सेंस गो स्टैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ हनुमान एंड से Let me hear your roar, like <laughs> we'll hear his roar once in your dream. You just have to hear it. You know how langurs roar, right? Hmm. <laughs> like this. Imagine that multiplied by two billion. Like this rock. <laughs> everything, everything molecule of yours is going to get transformed. Yeah. Okay. No fear. But after that. Correct. After that, no fear. Every everything negative is going to go out of you. Mm. So that's what it means. So all the three worlds, devs and everybody, if you can dream up a screaming Hanuman, you're done. You don't have to be afraid of anything, because you are under his sharan. Nothing will happen to you. Mm. Dream it. Mm. What next? 
भूत पिसाच निकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नाम सुनावे दिस इज अ ग्रेट टेक्निक यू नो यू जस्ट हैव टू से महावीर महावीर दैट्स इट देन देयर विल बी नो भूत पिसाच नथिंग कैन कम यू कैन गो एंड सिट इन द मिडल ऑफ द शमशान एंड से महावीर दैट्स इट इट्स नॉट लाइक महावीर 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 नो हैव द एनर्जी टू शॉट महावीर and then no bhut pishach can come here even in your dream a lot of people get bhut pishach in the dream because they have bhut pishach in their morning dreams hmm in the night dream also they have bhut pishach hmm so then you make a practice of saying mahavir hmm okay sometimes we go to your house and say mahavir 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 bhut pishach will leave from your family members hmm once a day if you shout mahavir All bhut pisha chul rana hai. That's yeah. what it means. It literally means that. Yeah. Okay. So hmm. for those who are saying oh, my neighbor has done black magic on me, just say mayir. Once if you say it's enough, the black magic will run back up the neighbor from one of the nine holes. Hmm. Huh. Maybe. Yeah, but you have to do with bhakti. If you are under Anuman's protection, nothing can touch you. Okay, your fake bhakti will not cut it. Your selfish bhakti will not cut it. You have to want nothing but Sri Ram and his blessings, and that's it. What are bhut and pisach? Is there so? There is a river, you know, across the living and the dead. In the Garud Puran, it's called Vaitri or something like that. I don't know. Vaitarna, Vaitarna, ha, Vaitarna. But we call it Mahakali. Hmm. And uh, there are a lot of people who don't know how to cross the river back to become living, so they remain in the dead place. They are afraid of the river also. So we think it has to do with the physical Mahakali river, which flows from Nepal to India. We call it Kali Gandaki. and we say that that is a physical manifestation of the vaitarni river so there are a lot of people who stuck there and then during during amavasya and purnima the river becomes thin that's when they are able to come here and disturb people so your your dead pitrus and the, all some people just don't want to leave because their attachment is too much they're waiting for that window to come and see you Okay, so that's why I said this one. You do this a lot on Amavasya and Purnima. Say Mahavir, 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 and send away all the bhut pisha to come and attach to you <laughs> on your shoulders. You can take them off. Okay. <laughs> See, I carry Goddess Lakshmi on my left shoulder. I carry Vishnu on my right shoulder. Here I have Uluka. Here I have Garuda as a tattoo. So I carry them on my shoulders. There's no place for bhut pisha. Hmm. and i shouldn't have weak shoulders for this no hmm. to train my shoulders no i have to train it so that i can carry have the power to carry lakshmi and vishnu everywhere that's how i think i feel like i'm a garud and a nuluka put into rolled into one right we to feel like that hanuman carried shri ram on his shoulders okay but what people are only capable of carrying bhut pishach on the shoulders because they're so narrow it's nice dried up narrow shoulders bhut pishach loves to sit there if you have well nourished strong shoulders bhut pishach will not sit on you okay so bhut pishach sit on your shoulders always so you do like this start from your ear and rub them off and say mahavir 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 throw them out they'll run so that's what happens they come and grip your shoulder during amavasya and purnima then again then the moon phase will change and some nakshatras will happen and you will go to some temple or you will watch my podcast or something will happen and then they leave but they'll be back again next amavasya hmm. you want to put an end to this then you can take it out so these are hmm. bhut pishach hmm. they they are invisible beings made out of light hmm. they exist in bhuvar loka but they are able to come hmm. into here the made of different low frequency lights and uh, some are made of sounds also hmm. they lost their bhuta body pancha bhuta body 
and then mm. they have become a single bhut which mm. is light hmm and pishach are like really like you all the frustrated people in this world are going to become pishach so if you have a long and meaningless corporate career as a human resource you'll be frustrated when you die there's a good likelihood of you becoming pishach i'm not even kidding but don't worry you can say mahavir mahavir and save yourself नासे रोग हरे सब पीड़ा जपत निरंतर हनुमत बीरा देर इज ए फॉर्मूला फॉर हेल्थ ड्रीम ऑफ हनुमान एंड से वेन यू हैव पेन ऑफ एनी काइंड यू हैव पेन ऑफ एनी काइंड विदाउट अ स्टॉप यू से हनुमत बीरा 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 एंड देन स्टार्ट थिंग मेकिंग इट मेंटली दिस थिंक ऑफ द अफेक्टेड एरिया वट एवर यू हैव रोग और पीड़ा वेर एवर यू हैव कीप सेंग हनुमत बीरा हनुमत बीरा हनुमत बीरा कीप चांटिंग इन दैट पावरफुल मंत्र एट इट एंड यू इमेजिन हनुमान इज ब्लेसिंग यू You have to dream Hanuman is here, there. You sit with Hanuman and you chant this, and then Hanuman will just point at that place. We <laughs> get, it'll get cured. And the dream, you can go to sleep chanting Hanuman Bira, Hanuman Bira, Hanuman Bira, Hanuman Bira, Hanuman Bira. Nirantar, okay? Hmm. Ah, nirantar jab karne se this word is going to happen. That's what it means. Yeah. Say with un- unstop. Of, uh, what is nirantar? No, no gap. No gap. Ha. Huh. Antar is gap. Hanumat Bira, 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 Hanumat Bira. You won't fall sick after that. Whatever is sickness you have will get dissolved by Hanumat Bira's name. Yeah. So it's a it's a great technique. I had given tried by this. Thilsidas. You tried it once. You had taught me this before. Hmm. Uh, so the earlier podcast. No, you like when I was learning Hanuman Gada, you had taught me this. Ah, okay. So I had recently got an injured. Uh, my hamstring was pulled or something hmm. but that night there was some pain and some you know hmm. especially it had been pulled from my right hmm. so i was just chanting this yeah. you should and get happy when you yeah. have pain because you can chant hanumat bira yeah yeah i'm so happy when i have pain i'm like hanumat bira hanumat bira hanumat bira hanumat yeah, yeah. bira hanumat bira not there's no space for another thought yeah only hanumat bira hanumat bira hanumat bira hanumat bira you would be like where's the pain after some yeah. time it won't be there the next morning it was not there and the sleep was like the sound only mm-hmm. continuous sound of not just one mantra but you had given more mantras also ha yeah. like mahavir also yeah. you had given yes and uh, there is a lot of things that guruji has been giving right since the first uh, mm. podcast mm. so I mean, it's a great opportunity to learn all of this, starting from Wally's talk, hmm. which also had some really great lessons. No, seriously, don't don't be um, lazy to watch all the podcasts again and make a note of all the techniques in it, in your notebook, and dedicate that notebook to Hanuman and open it every day and practice. Okay, everybody, please do this. Make notes of the Hanuman Chalisa. What is what? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Great. some of you if you want to share it with others you can send the files to me mm. uh, i will uh, upload it to, if you make a design that will be also something yeah so we are planning something let's see if it works out then it will work out you can no turn way. this yeah. these four podcasts into a, a good book about hanuman yeah. chalisa where yes. things are really you know yes so yeah who wants to do the project take it up man teach more people about hanuman great so the next one is uh, sankat te hanuman chudave hmm. man kram vachan dhyan jo lave whoever controls his man kram vachan means your mind that means your thoughts your kram which is your deeds and vachan is your words your thoughts deeds and words if you can control this then read the first line संकट ते हनुमान छुड़ावे देन वट एवर संकट यू हैव हनुमान विल टेक यू आउट फ्रॉम नो यू हैव टू बी योर वर्ड्स योर थॉट्स एंड योर एक्शंस शुड बी इन योर कंट्रोल 
You have to train enough for that. How do you think this discipline is going to come to you? You need to be in a gurukulam. Otherwise, you can't can't do this on your own without a guru. Okay? You have to follow the strict discipline to be able to control your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. And anybody who gains that control, Hanuman will make sure that he doesn't get any sankat. Before the sankat comes, Hanuman would have got you out of it. Okay, that's what it is. That's Hanuman's promise. And uh, Tulsi Das heard that promise and he's, he's put it in these lines. Very beautiful lines. There's a promise for you. Please have control on your thoughts, your words and your deeds. Don't do whatever you want. It has to be within a frame. What are we doing together? Find out with other people. Stick to that frame. Don't get out of that frame. If you get out of that frame, then... First of all, sankats come when you get out of that frame. <laughs> but when you're in that frame, then Hanuman will make sure no sankat comes to you. You'll be lucky beyond. I'm so lucky, man. Like I went to Pondicherry, light is shining in my eyes. Like Surya Dev lives in Pondicherry, I think. So, <laughs> it is so hot. But I'm like, I can't see the road. Hmm. It's ridiculously hot. Hmm. Okay? And I don't know, it's some 45 degrees or something. Hmm. And and my when I was I was taking my car, very narrow road, <coughs> went into the gutter. Now what? I couldn't control the car, but I controlled my deeds after that. I got out two people, two Tamilians have come now to tell me why can't you drive properly, uncle. Okay. Mm. And I'm, I don't know, like, they didn't know whether to call me Swami or uncle. They were in that mood. They didn't know, like, what is this character coming out of the car looking like Hanuman. And I took charge of the situation. They're telling me how I can't drive. I said, so you know to drive? They said, yes. I said, get in there and put the car in reverse and try to take it out. So he got into the car, one guy. The smaller guy, I told the bigger guy, you come here and help me lift the car. He's like, can we lift the car? Because this is the gutter and the wheel is fallen right in the gutter, exactly in the same shape. How will you lift it? Hmm. I said, Hanuman, you have to protect me from the sankat. I said, Jai Bajrangi Baba Hanuman. And I lifted it. And that came out. It was like it never happened. And this guy is like, he just kept his hand and the car lifted out because I lifted it. <laughs> and he's wondering how did this car lift out. But I could see Hanuman's hand there. I asked Hanuman, you give me a little finger, please. Hmm. He gave his little finger and lifted it out. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. Today I was doing Hanuman bhajan with two bell, bell uh, fruits. Not yeah. bell fruits, what are they called? Bell wood, wood apples. Wood, apple, huh? wood apples. Hard, right? Yeah. So I'm going tuk, 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 I'm doing bhajan. And when I look, it's all cracked. Yeah. You have to be careful, man. Mm. Like every week, I give a lot of massages to my students because mm. they are practicing uh, with me some hard martial arts, right? Mm. So I have to release all the knots here, whatever they get. Mm. And I have to be careful because every week I've gotten stronger. If I use mm. the same force of last week, mm. they'll get more pain. So to be very careful now uh, to calibrate. Mm. So this is what you'll start experiencing. Many, when I started Hanuman Gada, uh, door handles used to come in my hand because I, I was using my normal force. Mm. It happened two, three times. Then I'm like, okay, I have to slowly open doors like this. Mm. Uh, shaking people's hands and all. Now I'm doing only Namaste. I don't shake anyone's hand because I don't know how much force to put. Do not crush their bones. Okay, this is happening with me. And my hand has become like, I don't know what. Like, this is not normal skin, no man. Yeah. It's very what, thick. what is the skin? Yeah. And now, different sides, yeah. even... It's even like hide. Everything is becoming like leather, like the front, yeah. back, everywhere, the skin also. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I feel that mosquitoes are trying to bite me and failing sometimes. Mm. But they're able to bite sometimes. I saw one guy, mosquito, I was just watching like this. It came, tried, 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 it was doing all sorts of stuff. And... It's not successful. I'm not feeling any pain yet. So and touch on it. Finished. Mm. Okay. Mm. So you have to see the the magic that happens when you start dreaming about Hanuman as something else, man.
Hmm. So you need to have control over your actions, your thoughts, and your words. You can't be out of control. And Hanuman will take you out of any sankat. Like he lifted my car out with his one breath. Actually, even his finger is not required. Maybe his breath, and the car will come out. <laughs> my teacher is also uh, one of my teachers. Very big Hanuman bhakt. He's also extremely strong. Like another teacher. He's not my Hanuman gada teacher, but he's my Tamil Siddha teacher. That guy can shake things at a distance. Just he feels that Hanuman is behind me. He'll breathe and something there will shake with his breath. <laughs> so I've seen some incredible things done by Hanuman Bhaks, you know. So when I went to Varanasi to learn wrestling, my guruji there was called Ram Yadav, and he was teaching. And he said, "Ye vanro se aaya. Ye jo kushti ham sikhate." All this kushti we teach has come from the vanars. I'm like, wow! Like that's why we do puja of Hanuman ji. So you have to, if you if you have faith in Hanuman ji, you can fight with Uttar Pradesh Kesari also. He said. I'm like, what are you saying? Because Uttar Pradesh Kesari really trains hard, eats uh, all the badam in Kashmir, and he drinks all the milk in uh, that side of Varanasi. <laughs> You know, and they're like really strong. Yeah, yeah. The muscles yeah. have muscles. Yeah, these guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. I saw one of the Kesaris. Yeah, he yeah. was doing uh, on the parallel bars. He was doing, and I was like, his muscles have muscles, and his muscles have muscles. Biceps have biceps, and the, those biceps have biceps. Yeah, yeah. Like that he was. <laughs> yeah. And then the Guruji is like, you wrestle now. And I, first few days I got thrown. Then I was like, wait, I have to understand that. If I have Hanuman with me, nobody can defeat me. So I said, Hanuman, you come with me. And every time I would go wrestle, I would think that Hanuman is there, just holding my back like this, just like this. That's enough for me. I used to think Hanuman is there holding my back. Dum 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 started throwing people, man. I can't believe it. I mean, I was already a black belt in judo, but wrestling is another ball game altogether, right? When they're holding like this, suddenly by mistake they'll they'll turn like this and hit you here. Yeah. Dhan. Yeah. They have this technique to make it look like it's, it's not especially good. outsiders like me who come from South India can't speak Hindi, yeah. don't know Hindi numbers. If somebody says their their phone number in Hindi, I'm like, can you please tell in English? Because uh, they say the wrong. Yeah. I mean, if you had to say something like 87. For me, it sounds like seventy-eight, satasi, seven-eight, satasi. That's what I hear. Then he starts saying his numbers, satasi, and I'm like, I'm writing eight-seven, but it's actually seven-eight. Okay. So when they see me with my my South Indian um, awkwardness, mm-hmm. <laughs> they they want to make a good, uh, you know. How they 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 grind the badam and everything. Yeah. They, want to, they want to grind the South Indians like that. Yeah. <laughs> Not everyone, but some of them. They're irritated by by me coming there uh, with my whole energy. Hmm. So then I was like, Hanuman is with me. I'm telling you, I became immovable. I could throw everyone. Guruji noticed. He said. Hanuman tere saath hai. Hmm. I said, yes, haan hai, wo to hai. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, dekho, mera student aare aaj. He was Uttar Pradesh Kesri. Hmm. That means, he's, Kesri means the best fighter in Uttar Pradesh. Hmm. Okay. And he told me, you wrestle with him. Hmm. I'm like, okay. I'm like, whatever, Hanuman is with me. Hmm. And I managed to throw him also. He was also impressed. He was so happy because nobody's been able to defeat him. Hmm. But I could defeat him. Hmm. Same thing happened when I was wrestling in Nagaland. Hmm. I won that also in the Hornbill Festival wrestling competition. I won that also. Okay. So that happens. It's just it's just Hanuman's grace. It's just there behind you. So, uh, I mean, if I can lift a car, I can lift a man. It's no problem. Okay. It doesn't matter if the man is 200 kgs. I'll lift him. You I wrestled with me. You've yeah. seen it, right? I think that's why people want to come and meet you. They want to see all of these things. Like, I've seen that in you. So, ah, yeah. so that is Anman's grace. It's really nothing. Yeah. I'm not trained that hard to fight as good as I fight. 
it's it's always that plus i told you the wali formula yeah you know but for everyone it's a formula for me it's a real prayer yeah i see myself as lowest of the low mm. everything close to me like it's the slope right we're sitting here on a hill if i roll one of those bell fruits down here dub 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 it will go till the end and land up at the valley mm. that's how it is i'm there in the valley everybody's fruits are rolling towards me mm. like this and then i have an accumulation in the valley like so much power know what to do but still i'm humble i'm saying this not in my power this is shri ram's power mm. i will carry it on my shoulder just like carry shri ram if he wants to take his arrow and shoot someone i am ready to support mm. that's all i'm not the one to decide but what is my dharma i have to decide what is right and wrong i have to decide so i have to be proper in my thoughts words and actions i can't say whatever i want i can't do whatever i want i can't think whatever i want mm. you cannot if you think kachda you will not have hanuman's sharan as what is explained in this mm. chopai mm. kiles mohan yeah people are saying that they don't have spiritual presence in their life yeah they don't so when is kaliyug yeah the biggest religion is atheism hmm. Hmm. at least those who say honestly they are atheists they're being honest hmm. those who say that we are hindus and then go to temple and still cry hmm. like i said you can have fear or you can have hanuman which one you want decide it doesn't matter what bad situation someone contacted me saying i'm on a 24 hour oxygen support i told her what to do how to get rid of these karmas etc she's doing it quietly hmm. and she's reading the book i asked her to read hmm. and she'll get out of it i have full faith hmm. so it's like that no matter how bad your situation is you can get out hmm. whatever your sankat hmm. have some faith सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा तिन के काज सकल तुम साजा पर मीन्स ट्रांसेंडेंट और बियॉन्ड बियॉन्ड एवरीबडी इज द तपस्वी राजा राम वाई इज कॉल तपस्वी राजा बिकॉज ही गिव अप हिज किंगडम एंड स्टिल ही वॉज अ किंग इवन लिविंग इन द फॉरेस्ट सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा फिर किन के काज तिन के काज तिन के काज सकल तुम साजा हाँ so you are always uh, taking care of the work of the transcendent tapasvi raja ram so here the dream is that the tapasvi raja ram has certain needs and if you start worrying about those needs and you can dream up ram as the tapasvi raja and then you can ask him ram ji what can i do for you give him some water do his seva press his feet fan him whatever you do hanuman will be there smiling because you you did service of shri ram okay this is the dream if you can get into this dream then you will be always protected in that world how intensely can you dream this when you go to your corporate boss and you can say i quit my job because i am going to serve ram and you can leave and then you figure out something every day you do service of ram whatever he may need whatever sita mata may need whatever lakshman may need anything you be ready to do shri ram bless the squirrel also squirrel bought a stone in his mouth saying i also want to contribute towards the building of ram setu and shri ram accepted the stone and then he put it onto the sea and it was floating he took the squirrel and stroked it with his three fingers that's why squirrels have that stripe they say have you seen squirrels in yes. squirrels have stripes yes but as foreign squirrels don't have mm. Mm. Uh, so they say that is shri ram's finger marks on the squirrel mm. his uh, his his token of love for what small stone okay even if you bring a small stone to serve shri ram it's okay you don't have to be capable of any big service if nothing you can fan him if nothing you can press his feet if nothing you can get some water for him 
anything. You can get his padukas for him so that he doesn't hurt his feet when he's walking in the jungle. You can give him the gift of a stick because dandam dashagunam. You can uh, clean his arrows. You can sharpen his arrows. You can do so many things for Sri Ram. No? Wipe his bow. So many things you can do in your dream. You do whatever Sri Ram would need in his ashram. You sit and do. Every day you sit and dream this up. If you're able to do that, then, uh, you know, magic will happen in your life. This is not how people think of Ram. They just want to put some flower and run in the temple. <laughs> yeah. No commitment. Okay, what's next? Our manorat jo koi lave, soi amit jivan fal pave. Hmm. Manurat So, Rat means a chariot Okay Manurat is desires that are royal That will come in a chariot We should bring such desires to Ram Not मेरी पड़ोसी लड़की मुझे मिल जाए हनुमान ऐसे नहीं ठीक है यू हैव टू ब्रिंग समथिंग रॉयल समथिंग अ किंग वुड वांट फॉर देयर फॉर हिज सिटीजेंस व्हाट इज दैट सोशल चेंज इंप्रूवमेंट फिक्सिंग ब्रोकन सिस्टम्स लाइक एजुकेशन सिस्टम एंड मेडिकल केयर सिस्टम एंड सो मेनी थिंग्स आर ब्रोकन एंड इट्स नॉट बीइंग फिक्स्ड इन आवर सोशल सिस्टम एंड uh, the way we explain sex to children is like we don't do it. <laughs> How do we explain sex to children by not talking about it? So there's so many lousy things that are messing up people for life, you know. Mm. I can't even counsel young people like don't get married. They won't listen. They think mm. they already know what will happen. No, I, we know that marriage is shit but we are special. Or my parents, I already told my parents, I can't get out of this now. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Like people do stupid ass things and then they expect that they won't have trouble, you know. <clears throat> Bring a good desire. Most people don't even have enough sexual desire. They have some half big sexual desire and they go get married for that. It's so bad. They, they, can't, they can't even have stable sexual desire. That also goes. They can't even desire one person properly. And then they keep, they keep ejaculating. Huh? I made a... <laughs> on my website. My YouTube, no, for years, had 2,000 subscribers. And then we released one video on Hastumaitun. Yeah. Masturbation. Now I have 25k subscribers. In between the Hastamaitan, they had time to watch my video. It's a good thing. Mm. So, because Maybe you can see how starved people are for this kind of information. They don't know. Yeah. So, I'm going to talk a lot about it. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah. but do service, fix something like that. Come with a big manurat that people don't unnecessarily get mm. distracted by the sexual energy and they learn how to use it. This is a mm. manurat. It's common, a royal chariot. You care about the people. Hmm? So I come with Manurat. Huh. Amit Phal Pave. You, uh, an, um, Amit means without limits. Unlimited fruits you will get for your Manurat. So it will go and transform the world, whatever Manurats you have. And I don't have one or two Rats, I have an army of Rats, Manurats, that I can shoot towards. So you think of your Manurat as a warrior in a chariot like Arjun Maharati. Hmm. Huh. And that ma that manurath is going forward, and you say, Hanuman, you be on my flag, you be on my chariot. You think you are Arjun, the Maharati, and this is your manurath, and Hanuman is a is on your flag. Even current arrows can't do anything to you, hmm. because Hanuman is there. You'll get Amit Phal. It's a promise. Hanuman has made this promise. Come with the real manurath. 
Okay. Royal Chariot of Desire. Wanting good for people, like a warrior. It's not you and your selfish, I mean myself, Hanuman is not bothered. Do something amazing. Charo Yuga Pratap Paratap Tumara. Hey Parsiddha Jagat Ujiyara. So in the in the four yugas you your glory is spread. And you are always the most famous light in this world. The light of knowledge to go towards Sri Ram. Or as he's going to come in the next avatar as Kalki. Hanuman will be there also. In all the four yugas he is there to serve. Vishnu, and whatever form he comes, Hanuman is going to be there. And he's the only light. So you should understand that, you know, always look to Hanuman, because he's Gyan Gun Sagar. For your light of knowledge, always look to Hanuman. So the last one for today. Sadhu Santake Tum Rakhware hmm. Asura Nikandan Ram Duare. So Sadhu is a very specific meaning, okay? Sadhus are the ones who are trying to get Siddhis. They are sadhaks. They have left everything else and they are only after uh, this Devi's Siddhis, Ashta Siddhi, which uh, Sita Mata she gave to Hanuman. So when we worship Hanuman, we also get those Siddhis. So Sadhus are the ones who are going after these. You know, these eight Siddhis are Ma Siddhidatri, she wanted to go and uh, become one with Shiva. That's how Ardhanari happened. She's like, I have you, but I want to be you. I want to be in you. And Shiva said, only Siddhis can be in me, nothing else, because I am Siddheshwar. So she said, I will become the eight Siddhis and I will come inside you. So then, uh, Shiva taught her the eight Yamala Tantras and she could merge into him. And that's uh, the origin of Ma Siddhidatri. So she's the one who gives Siddhis. And uh, of course, Janaki Ma or Sita, she was also Siddhidatri. So she gave the eight Siddhis to Hanuman. Okay, so the one who worships Sita Ma as well, and uh, uh, Durga Ma as well, and Ardhanari as well, is the one who is uh, Sadhu. <coughs> and a uh, Sant is the one who wants who who lives as if everything has ended and everything is new again okay so it, it is um, Sama plus Ant Sant. Okay. Everything that you see, you see it as the destruction of what it, it was and the production of something new. That's how you see it. So these are sadhus and sants. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> Sadhu sant ke tum rakhwari. Hmm. So, if you are sincere about the Siddhis or if you are living as if everything is born new from, from the womb of Devi every moment, if you are a Sant or if you are a Sadhu, Hanuman will protect you. Hmm. If you wear the base of a Sadhu, he will not protect you. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. If you are a Nautanki Sadhu, he will not protect you. Hmm. <laughs> to be a real Sadhu, a real Sant. Then he'll protect you. There was one story of uh, some people who come to, some gundas who come to Ram Raja and become sadhus because there's nothing, like they can't do any of that, they yeah, become they sadhus. They don't have career there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they leave Ram Raja again, then they again are like, their instincts come out. Huh. And they become duckoids again. <laughs> like. Yeah. 
So, Asur Nikandan, Rama Dulare. Asur Nikandan. Ah, Asur Nikandan. So, Asur Kumarta, no? there are many Asurs, you know. Hmm. Like in the. Um, uh, I was reading in this one, no? mm, Mudgal, Mudgal Puran. I was reading. The names of the Asurs are cool like that. Ganesh kills eight kinds of Asurs. And uh, jealousy is one asur, ego is one asur, anger is one asur, krodha asur. Mm-hmm. Okay, so everybody has asurs inside them. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Hanuman kills your asuric nature. Mm-hmm. When you become a sadhu or a sant, then you don't have this asuric nature anymore. Hanuman kills it, asur nikandan, ram dulare. And you become, he is the beloved of Sri Ram. Sri Ram loves nobody like he loves Hanuman. I would say not even his wife. <laughs> Although he did love her, he, she, Hanuman's love for him was very pure. And so, you know how it is, right? Hanuman goes to Sita Mata and says, Why are you putting this red sindur? And she says, uh, Because Sri Ram likes it. He's like, Really? And he put his, she puts sindur on his whole body and goes. It's like an innocent child's love, you know? It's very cute the way Hanuman loves hmm. Sri Ram. So Sri Ram finds it very. Uh, Astonishing and wants to laugh, you know. <laughs> like one of my students during Shivratri, <laughs> I'm saying you have to sit with your spine straight, right? She's gone up to the terrace where Kali's temple is there. For some time, she started looking at Kali, and uh, then she saw Shiva. It's like Shiva is standing under Kali. She's like, this guy is lying down. What will he see of Kali? And she was lying down and looking up like this. She forgot about the meditation. <laughs> when I went up, she's lying down like this, looking up at the sky when you're supposed to keep your spine straight. Oh. Right? Then, then, then she got, then she stood, she sat up like, Guruji has come, mm. Guruji is mad at me. Mm. But she got saved that day and her sadhana worked mm. because Kali got impressed, I mean Kali got amused mm. and tickled by what she did. Mm. She's lying down and seeing uh, the hands hanging from Kali's mm. waist and feeling the blood. She was dreaming. Mm. And, and and Kali was also looking down at her. Why are you lying down here? Mm. You know. She was having that experience and that's why uh, you, she could reach God directly without any complication. So I didn't scold her much. Mm. There was nothing much to scold. I said, okay, you, you sit straight now and mm. listen to Guru. Don't be your own guru, she said, okay. Mm. And then she practiced and she got the benefit of uh, the thing. I mean, even Kalidas was like the stupid, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. You go to Kali and he'll be looking and then suddenly he'll be thinking, if she gets, he had a cold <laughs> and he had one nose to manage and Kali came in her five-faced form to him. And he's like, if you get a cold, how will you manage? You have five noses. <laughs> you know? And it, it amused Kali. Okay. So like that, Hanuman is like that. He's very innocent. All the questions he asks are, are so from the heart that Sri Ram's heart is won over. Okay, so that's called Ram Dulare. Hmm. And you will also become Ram Dulara. If you kill all the asuras in your mind with Hanuman's grace. Mm. And you be like an innocent child in front of Sri Ram. Mm. He will also take care of you. Mm. But you have to be like that. You have to be like, like Hanuman. Man. He, he thought he can eat the sun. Mm. No? You have to be audacious in your goals. Mm. Only a child is audacious. As you become an adult, you don't, you're don't. you not audacious anymore. Mm. But I dream audaciously even now. It doesn't matter if I'm 50 years old. My dreams are audacious. I'm, I'm like... How can we make this better? Mm. And it's like that. So that's how we learn. The, the f- stupid people who think they can do ridiculous things are the ones who do it. And they are usually Hanuman bugs. Mm. <coughs> so that's what this whole thing is saying. You have to be a serious sadhu and sant. Mm. Then Hanuman will protect you. Mm. Be hungry. Be hungry for the Ashtamaha Siddhi. Be hungry to renew everything as if it's 
like whatever whatever is there is not going to last it's being born every moment you have to notice this about the world every moment is a chance to make things again afresh to render things again afresh okay for many people this might be abstract so you learn yoga you start learning yoga or you learn hanuman gada kunal will teach you basics and uh, it's under my guidance only so you'll get some good basics then you can be sadhu sant okay that's the last one for today yeah that's the last one for today mm. uh we'll go into some few questions mm. and also mm. some uh, a lot of the viewers are loving it mm. we are thank you for the support and uh, your comments and like we enjoy to go through them and we really appreciate what you do on the comments so please keep the space clean and like decorate it with your beautiful words so yeah that's such a nice invitation yeah yeah so cultured <laughs> huh. yeah there was a question uh, hmm. in the previous uh, in the previous episode that we did hmm. so you had said that this is a shrota yajna hmm. but i was told that the hanuman chalisa should always be read as hmm. jo yah pade hanuman chalisa hmm. ho ya siddhi saaki gauri sa it's in the later hmm. on chopais yeah so what's the point so please clarify he's saying i think he's saying uh, what's the question i don't understand it's somehow saying that jo yah pade hanuman chalisa hmm. even i didn't understand what this question is but uh, i think it means like you had said that shrota yajna is the sound and he's saying that it's so supposed to be chanted out aloud mm. or is it supposed to be like i think that's the pade and uh, padne ke baad hi uh, dreaming hota hai na huh. like as you read it only you can dream it yes hmm. yeah yeah okay there's no conflict here this is something okay. I don't know what the exact question is but uh, it's yeah. no, it's okay. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just listen. Another you, even if you're uh, listening somebody's reading no? Yeah. So this like the reading like everybody is so selfish they think everything they have to do alone man. Just to do this reading you know how many people are involved. And how many spirits are involved to bring this to you mm-hmm. in peace. yeah mm. it is like each time we are going to a new place mm. and always the spirits are welcoming here yeah mm. so mm. it is a shrota yagya why why you have to take that away from me <laughs> <laughs> or away from yourself why do you want to not have this wealth and why do you have such questions ask good questions mm. okay next <coughs> uh one very frequent question was about and also doubts about hmm. food especially non veg hmm. um they say that uh, you can't eat non veg and uh like <coughs> there's a lot of uh, history like based on what yeah in the common culture who are learning about hanuman on the youtube on the internet hmm. it's commonly accepted i think we had to adapt yeah. because there was no non veg available yeah for me most of the time india was under war of some kind or the other yeah. so we had to manage with in the marathas had to manage with vegetarian good sambar yeah. was invented by uh, sambhaji yeah oh yeah hmm. cuz he couldn't get enough meat for his people hmm. where are you going to get hmm. okay but that you should understand in, in india became vegetarian circumstantially because hmm. there was a shortage of meat hmm not because of any other reason now there's no shortage you eat yeah one more question was uh, how to eat like uh, bali usually they used to do bali before mm. but now bali becomes biryani huh. or something <laughs> yeah and it's served back to the people only i used huh. to give bali of two animals hmm. every uh, full moon hmm. in in chamundi hills hmm. and the whole village used to eat it hmm. they would take it then only skin it cook it and mm. make it and we would eat mm. it well, all the muslims are doing that only right mm. bali they're giving 
they chant all their mantras and they offer it to Allah. Hum kare to character dhila hai. What is this? Hmm. A lot of warrior cultures used to eat, I think, in the past. No? Yes, yes, because it's the easiest way to get protein, right? Yeah. Why would you want second-hand protein? Like, eat something and then it takes so long to convert it. Yeah. There's hardly any protein. Hmm. I think it's good. If you want strong muscles, then you have to eat eat protein but if you don't want strong muscles that's okay too but because there are a lot of problems with vegan diet hmm. and vegetarianism in general hmm. zinc is almost non-existent hmm. in a vegetarian diet hmm. how will you have testosterone hmm. how will you have that beautiful body shape hmm. if you don't have testosterone and estrogen hmm. for which zinc is a very important component hmm. don't even talk about dha which converts sunlight into uh, 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 direct electricity hmm. And people are saying nutritional needs are not an excuse, right? What else? I'm an organism. Hmm. Even an amoeba wants nutritional needs. What are you talking hmm. about? Hmm. My nutritional needs come first. Hmm. What is this false compassion? Hmm. Trees will avoid vegans when they die, is it? They'll eat them. Yeah. So something, some gas, this hmm. is not our culture. Yeah. I have given Bali to God so many times. And there are forms of Hanuman in the forest. When I go with my Kuruba friends and deep into the forest, there are Hanuman temples where we offer Bali. Even to this date. There are different kinds of spirits out there, man. Hmm. You don't know nothing about them. Hmm. And then you come here and then you talk like, man, your Thames Nadi education does, didn't cover all these things. Hmm. Your Thames River education, which they fed you one bottle of Thames water every month, every every day, sorry, when you went to school. For six hours you drank Thames water and came. Now you can't understand when Kaveri water is here. Hmm. You see that Garud flying over there? Yeah. What do you think he's looking for? Berries. Spinach. Spinach. Looking for non-violent ways to eat his food. What is this? I don't get it. Only vegetarians are trying to push their... Like, I'm not going to everyone and saying, eat non-veg, eat non-veg, yeah. right? Am I telling? No. No. <laughs> but vegetarians are always coming to me, eat veg, eat veg, eat veg. I will eat you. <laughs> what is this? Don't go and imposing, pushing your beliefs down people's throats, okay? You don't want to eat, you don't eat. Why are you telling others to don't to not eat? Hmm. This is what irritates me. Hmm. You don't want to eat, you want to malnutrition yourself, go right ahead. You don't find value in your life that you have to preserve your body and keep it fit. Don't eat. Why are you throwing it on my uh, down my throat? Hmm. Can't you see I have gada? What is this? I mean, even energetically and spiritually and karmically, I'll protect myself. My guru has taught me to eat. I will eat. What is your problem? Do you know what is the journey I have had with my guru for you to come and advise me? Vachak! Take that energy ball. Let it hit your brain. If you want to come and teach people about diet. I don't talk about diet. You want to really learn about diet, you read Mitochondria Manifesto. You'll see how badly depressed and what kachada you eat. How you fill yourself up with deuterium and age your mitochondria eating vegetarian food. Why do you want to do this? It is true that if you stay out in the sunlight and then you, you jump into the river, you don't even need much food. But the food that you would eat, when you eat one meal a day like me, I want it to be packed with protein and fats, not carbohydrates. It doesn't help my testosterone. They used to give uh, men <coughs> and like especially the 9 to 5 workers early, mm. they used to give them uh, cereals mm. and uh, later Grains. on, yeah. Cereals, huh? Okay. Uh, that that snack, no, you put it in milk and you ah, have that, that yeah, yuck. something, huh. it's called cornflakes. Yeah. Cornflakes. Cornflakes and stuff like that. Huh. So after Pounded a few cereals. years, huh. yeah. 
they they were like reported by the like the research publications to be testosterone killing yes yeah. that's a fact about testosterone lot of vegetarians are running around low testosterone i don't think a vegetarian my age will have a testosterone more than more than 300 minus some 1100 and gml how is this not by eating carrots huh. hmm. let's move on uh another very commonly asked question was uh, gadha not being in uh, these Hanuman. gadhas i saw one uh, gadhi on a reel huh. talking that gadha is not mentioned in ramayana ramayana is not about gadha ramayana is about ram why gadha will be mentioned in ramayana but tulsidas clearly says no hat vajra aur kya dhoja dhoja viraj oh, he doesn't say gadha in vajrang ban he says vajra gadha ah uh, in vajrang ban yeah. he says no but the vajra is the gadha uh, that's what yeah. you don't understand the vajra became the gadha yeah. vajra is given by indra and what have i taught you very secret yeah gadha dhari mudra makes vajra inside yeah no hmm. Hmm. and the gadha is an amazing uh, iconic tool for training your body and its origin comes from hanuman hmm. because vanar used to pick up trees they said no hmm. vanar used to pick up trees and use them as a gadha hmm. where do you think the gadha comes from it comes from a tree hmm. you think they wouldn't have figured out we can take the tree and shape it on a lathe and make it however we want why would they pick up a tree that's not aerodynamic yeah You think only you had the brains to put it, to put a tree on a, a lathe and make it into gada? What gada is man? Uh. So seriously, I think every time I dream of Hanuman, I dream of him with a gada. Tere ko aake uske upar. Dash na hai. Don't do this. Okay, don't piss on other people's dreams. No, seriously, man. Yeah, yeah. Who are you to piss on my dreams? I don't understand. Here we are running something called Hanuman Gada. We are training people. They are getting strong. They are getting results. Who are you to piss on those results? Who are you? people overestimate their value when they talk there is no god and we are over we are over over we shouldn't even be having this conversation but it's okay yeah yeah they got slaps hmm. yeah yeah it's high time now i mean come on you want to invalidate everything that we are doing yeah these are the so called liberals Everyone knows Hanuman has gada they have to come he can in the name it hit them with the gada and send them one smash mm. that's why we have gada mm. <laughs> no don't worry it was uh, the last person i hit was t- uh, 2010 mm. i'm completely non violent mm. but not incapable mm. <laughs> of protecting myself mm. so some people think of hanuman as their brother mm. uh, some people think of hanuman as their father mm. Uh, I mean, people are messaging and they are saying that this is happening. Mm. So, I wanted to cover this as well. Mm. What do you think about this relation with Hanuman? I don't know, man. I think of Hanuman as my god, and I don't see any problem with it. Mm. How can I be Hanuman's brother? Have you seen my father and mother? Mm. How can Hanuman be born from them? Mm. Have you seen Hanuman's father and mother, Anjana and Kesari? How can I be born from such? Mm. Like I'm nobody, man. I'm mm. like the dust on Hanuman's nail. Mm. He's not my brother and father. Mm. He's my god. Mm. I don't know why people have these confusions, but whatever, man. Mm. I don't know what the problem is. You do mm. what you want. Mm. Just don't stop me from doing what I want. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Guruji, can you validate my stupidity? No, I can't. Mm. But Guruji, do you hate my stupidity? No, I don't. Please go mm. ahead. Just don't put it on my head that I have to agree and validate that you are 
your father is capable of giving birth to Hanuman. Who? Oh, I don't think my father is capable. And I don't think your father is capable to give birth to Hanuman. We are nobody, man. Mm. Be humble, guys. Mm. Don't make Hanuman your father and brother. And mm. I am the son of Shiva and Shakti. And mm. calm down. Yeah, yeah. That's it for today, Guruji. Mm. Uh, thank you for watching so far. Uh, those of you who want to enroll in the Hanuman Gada Sadhana uh, Level One, then the April batch is open now. You can enroll. We have 15 spots open. You can uh, message me. I'll send the link below this video. You can scroll down and you can you'll see the link. Tap on that link and you message me. Uh, I have given the message template. Make sure you use the message template, and you also tell me why you want to learn. Uh, what were you able to dream about uh, in Hanuman Chalisa and uh, yeah and what problems if you want to solve and if you have any problem mention them okay so this is a warrior's lifestyle before you message me this is a warrior's lifestyle it's a warrior's practice so it's about upholding and maintaining the Devi's Maryadas the boundaries of nature Devi's Maryadas is uh, the cycles of nature that we follow in this practice and you as a warrior have to take up that responsibility that in your life you will uphold these maryadas so which means that you cannot violate like you cannot you cannot be having your light on at night and not be protected from it and also not follow that uh, discipline the dinacharya that guruji has been has been explaining so far okay so then you have to uh, agree to follow this only then you apply okay so that's there these are simple ancient practices, you know, traditional practices that we do like drinking water from a silver cup. It was done traditionally, mm. like walking barefoot. It was done traditionally. Even in Navratri, we see people, uh, you know, they, who are following the Vrat, they walk barefoot. Yeah. So these are like basic practices, you know. So if you're ready to apply them only, then you message me. And even if you want to start applying it, I have the... PDF ready, it's free, you can find it in the link below. Hanuman's practice is also about uh, doing uh, hard things is an, in an easy way, with an ease of mind. So, you know, our students are getting great results, like a lot of them are giving exams, you know, UPSC and all. They want to become mm. uh, government officers, they mm. want to do something good yes, for the country. they should do for the country. So, and they are racing, like, you know, and they are, but that unnecessary anxiety, overthinking was there. Mm. Someone had a, a promotion that they had applied for and they got it. But before that, there was unnecessary, you know, conflict, internal conflict. Mm. So all that will go away when you do Hanuman Sadhana, you'll be relaxed. Yeah. And the people around you also will be relaxed. And they'll be surprised, like, what's happening with you? Why are you not worried about it? Mm. So these are what our students experience. And even you can experience this if you follow these practices and take it seriously. Okay. So, even uh, people, a lot of them are living outside in the West or mm. maybe in Australia mm. and they have a very weak connection there, the culture there is very different. Mm. So, with these practices, they are able to inculcate, uh, you know, that energy mm. in their life, Hanuman's mm. energy. Yeah, they'll be more serious yeah. because it's their connection to India. Yeah. They mm. are, I found some of my students who are NRIs are more serious about yoga than the ones who are here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they appreciate what, you know, they have, like, they take care for granted. Yeah. So, it's it's amazing that you need to, you know, you, you need to feel that. And especially if you're in India, you need to do it because the environment is supporting it. Correct. So, this is Bharat Varsh. Yeah. So, that will be great if you can learn this. Your life will be <coughs> simple. You will not have any troubles and why not have this in your life? Mm. So, message me, I've given the message. If you agree with me, then only. Otherwise, you don't message me. You keep watching. Uh, Agreement is Ram Raja. If you can't agree, don't come. Yes. Okay. So, that's it, Guruji. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing the deep wisdom. And uh, this time, also, we got a lot of different insight from the last one. Uh, previously, it was very uh, describing Hanuman's relationship with Ram and all the other devas and now mm. it was more about um, the Tej of Hanuman and you know a different like it's like every 10, 10, 10 it's like unfolding a new layer of Hanuman and 
so much there to even learn into it there will be more we'll cover more yes uh, so last 10 uh, watch wait for it we'll release it soon thank you for watching uh, and jai hanuman jai shri ram jai shri ram